Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. What a beautiful day it is to be in Jesus. So, amen? Amen. Well, Brother Tom is with you here, and this is the ministry of Jesus Christ. And today, brothers and sisters, a quick look at a peculiar people. I've always loved that term for, for us, peculiar people. We are peculiar people because we are people who know that we cannot save ourselves. It is the gift of God by grace through faith in Jesus Christ, not of works, lest any man should boast. So we know that we cannot save ourselves. There are no good works we can do. No amount of gold and silver shall save us. We cannot buy our salvation. We cannot earn it. It is not a work. It is the gift of God. Hence, we are a peculiar people because we are the only ones who believe such a thing. The world thinks it can save itself with its efforts, its works, with its gold and silver, with its technologies. These are not what save. They cannot. Those who worship idols of wood and stone and clay, they do not speak, they have no life, they cannot save. Jesus Christ is the Savior. And it is only by Jesus Christ that we can be saved. And this makes us a peculiar people indeed. Paul, in writing to Titus, chapter 2 gives him this exhortation and it's beautiful and quite revealing starting at verse 11 of chapter 2 of Titus for the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust we should live soberly righteously and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority, let no man despise thee. Hallelujah. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared unto all men. We proclaim that truth to this very day. Christ crucified. Jesus, born of the virgin birth, lived a sinless life, the Lamb of God without spot or blemish. Blemish or spot. No blemish, no imperfections, but perfect. Not spotted by the things of this world. Perfect. The perfect Lamb of God. Who gave himself a sacrifice, a willing sacrifice. His shed blood upon the cross at Calvary. And all the related. He came paid the price, the penalty of our sin. Believing this is the way, the hope, the salvation that we have. This is the truth. And this is the message we proclaim. And in so, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Filled with his spirit, sealed unto the day of redemption, we are about our father's business, rejecting the sin of this world, the ungodliness, the, the, the lusts of the flesh and the pride of the eye, all those things, reject and walk in the spirit the Spirit of Christ who dwells in us, we are the temple of the living God. 
holy. Hence, we reject all such things, looking for that blessed hope and that glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, yes, this is what we look forward to seeing. This is what it is. As we are now about our Father's business, we have one eye out, one ear open, listening, watching, waiting for the coming of the Lord. Oh, how glorious it'll be when that day does come. Because in this process, he who gave himself for us, Jesus, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity, not some, not sort of, but all iniquity, and purify unto himself, who does it? The Lord Jesus Christ. He purifies us from all. makes for himself a peculiar people. Oh, hallelujah. And we're zealous of good works. No, oh, that we speak and rebuke and resort and you know, <laughs> exhort one another in the things of God. Zealous, zealous of good works. We're not zealous of them because now we have to. Oh, God said. We're zealous because of what we know. We're zealous because God has saved us. Jesus Christ has set us free. We know the joy of the Lord, the presence of God. And hence we proclaim the good news. Do those things which please God and not the world. God. And he purified unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. It is the work that he has begun in us that he will complete. And in that a manifest. Yes, we were saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. It is by faith that we are saved. These good works don't now keep us saved. They are the evidence of being saved. Yes, and praise God. So as a peculiar people, as a glorious, blessed, and peculiar people, These things speak and exhort and rebuke when necessary with all authority. Let no man despise thee. Oh, glory be to God. So we speak forth the truth in love. For God has so loved us we love him because he first loved us. Because of this, oh, we speak. We speak, we exhort, we rebuke. And if any would despise, that's between God and them. We continue to look for the coming of the Lord and being about our Father's business, while it is still day. And we know that one of these days, we're going to hear that sound, the voice of the archangel, and the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, and we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the air 
in the clouds, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Oh, no wonder. Why should it surprise that we speak, exhort, and rebuke when this is the outcome? Eternal life with God. In Jesus' holy name. Oh, amen. Amen. So today, let us be peculiar people not of the world and the things of the world and using the philosophy of the world and the teachings of the world and the pollutions of the world and the false gods and the false idols and all the lusts of the flesh and the pride of life and all such matters. Those we reject. But love, peace, joy, speaking forth the true word of God. In Jesus' name, proclaiming the good news that salvation has come. For grace, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Today, today, speak it forth. And watch, because Jesus Christ is coming again. In Jesus' holy and blessed name, amen and amen.